Hello, everyone. This is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Empire Dissolve Liu Hong Let's Play. We continue for episode two from turn four in the harvest season of 183. So last time we got our court in order and we actually have positive income, which is a great thing. And we're going to start building some buildings this turn. We definitely want this upgraded so that we at least have one building with some garrison. We want to slot in some tier one buildings. Ultimately, I think we do want to get rid of the tax collection building just because we don't want fervor. Uh, in the beginning, free income is great, but ultimately this is going to be a industry slash commerce commandery. And we might also consider dropping the regional city to just a small regional city. We'll still get the rank five for most buildings, not the palace. The palace requires an imperial city, a level 10 commandery. We'll get there eventually, but right now we're in the process of shaving down some of the generals in our court, especially some of the eunuchs. We're keeping a few, uh, a good amount, but not 13. We already got rid of one last turn, and I think we can get it down to 10 right now this turn uh, for the 10 eunuchs, I guess. Even though historically when we say shi chang shi or the 10 eunuch, it's actually 12 people. Uh, they just didn't want to go off the nice and even amount. So we're gonna do a very similar thing. We're gonna refresh the recently demoted and we're also gonna refresh the, not there. Wait, yeah, we clicked the wrong one. We'll all get past is correct. We are gonna grab our two guys, confirm, dismiss. Who else hates us? There you go, confirm, dismiss, and then we're gonna also refresh his title just in case. So the banishment is gonna go down, gonna go to negative one, but lack of purpose is gonna go up. So that should push him to leave. We want them gone, get out our court, drop our food by four, which is why I'm thinking about downgrading this and we'll get eight food back from this so that we can maintain Liu Hong's uh, assignment, which costs five food. Now, is there any way we can drop our bureaucrat down a tier? It's 16 points a tier, so we will need to get to below six, no, 48, 54, no, 64. We're two points away. If we can just shave two point off, we can save a lot of money before we build. I think the trick here is to mess with Zhang Wen. There's two ways we can deal with him. I don't really want to get rid of him now because of the burnt trait. And what we're going to do is probably just make him the administrator of one of our gate passes. Maybe, actually it doesn't really matter. We're not going to send him out there for defense. This way we take him out of the court position to actually give bureaucrat points. And then we're at 60, which doesn't drop. Interesting. So what if we drop Kongrol to the other gate pass? That way we also take his points away. His faction-wide bonus does include a trade, though, I think. I don't think Zhang Wen was giving us anything. 15% upkeep for... Oh, that's not too bad, actually, but... I feel like the bureaucrat points is hurting us more. We're going to go up here, grab Flaming Shot. They're going to be the range army that follows the Impure army because we need some siege weapons and, you know, the Impure army can't build any, so... I'm going to have to switch things up there. We also have Yu Jin, who we will recruit. He's also Dynasty, which is amazing. Uh, clerk. So I think we'll pick this up for some experience, even though we have no unit that could benefit from that right now. But I really can't see him getting anything else. Why do we stack these on him? That's my mistake.
We're gonna fix that. I didn't realize we stacked in the wrong character. We haven't built anything yet, so we actually haven't missed out a beat. Easily switch these over. 26%. Uh, salary is just a little too high. So I don't think this is actually beneficial. Do we have any of the set bonuses to drop the cost? Workshop. So industry buildings actually can be cheaper when we build them. We'll do a bit of item swapping for that. We're trying to save every penny because our economy is really not great. We have very high character experience boost. That's what I think is going on, which is why we're getting so many level up from just doing assignments. It's good. Definitely not a bad thing. Now, Yu Jin, we can put him here. We're also curious about Konron's bonus. Where is he? We don't get an extra trade route with him, aside from this. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Who will we replace him? Right. We could also just move one of them for three points before we kill them off. That's the goal. These two gentlemen need to die. So maybe Coral stays. Eugene's faction wide bonus are not great. That's an understatement. He can come over and be one of the ministers. A little bit less dynasty point, which I think I'm okay with. Replenishment for garrisons is not too shabby. I think we can slot him in here. Also keep him a little bit happy. This isn't going to change anything, so I don't think we need to do that. Uh, I do have that one open slot. We really want to fix this, so I think we're at 60 and still not tiered down. This is 48. That's the threshold. No, it's not. It's 18 points per point. Oh, what am I talking about? Yeah, 36 minus... We're at 50. We need to be below 54. Hmm... That means we need we need both of them to leave the court this turn, which is impossible, or else we move. We move Coral. He's not gonna hurt us, because when we drop down here, we'll get a trade back. I think this is the right move. What are we getting here? Food from fishing, food from farming. That might actually be useful. This is recruitment discount, 10%. It's not terrible. 15 from peasantry, 15 from industry, 15 character experience plus 50 trade. I think we actually want to go here. Also doesn't make sense to put him as our chancellor, so we fixed that as well. We drop down to here. We don't lose any trade routes. We're good. Our buildings become that much cheaper. 50% cheaper. So we're good there as well. Much better. So we want this. We want this. And we want this. I might actually get rid of this now and just go private workshop. We have we have decent income. Okay, so that's fixed. Two characters that are leaving us. Wonderful. Impure army that will be fully healed soon. Generals that need to die. Who's our other 
Right, we get get Sun Tra onto the field for the army that officially follows behind. Now, since he's not dying anymore, I can actually get rid of his retinue. That way we don't have to pay for that cavalry unit. These two we want to die and then replace. So that is all good to go. We're not going to touch these gate passes in terms of upgrading them just yet. Okay, wonderful. No turncoats. Any diplomacy change we can do? 1.9 might be worth something. 50, we'll take that. He's far enough in the south that we don't have to think about invading his land anytime soon. Drop it down. We'll take that. Kind of just want to lock down the relationship. We're also not going to attack Nobel anytime soon either. We're just going to look at the factions who like us the most. Maybe the High Empire is the one that really could rejoin us. Right, there we go. That's what we want. Come back, give us money. Everyone else might be a tad too strong or too far away from us right now. Yeah, we're happy to have who we have. It's just sad we can't. There's no invite as a quick list, so we can't check it on the quick list. There we go. The tribute income is kicking in. We're paying some back, but we're still netting about 1.12k per turn. All right, that is the enemy. That is who we must kill. Do we want to get the tribute shake going? I guess we can wait. We're probably going to bring Shixie out as well into this army. Just triple strategists. We can go deal with the looters first. Let's continue. The rebellion hasn't officially kicked off yet, so we're not at war with them. Goodbye. Goodbye. Graffiti, first sign of rebellion. So we get the private workshop. We get the tier two. Probably want a tier three for that full stack of retinue early on. These are a little bit too pricey to justify their cost right now. Um, what can we do with you? I mean, we're, we're sending you out to die. Don't reach rank four yet. A lot of character experience boost. I'm going to mess up his build for when he becomes a faction leader. Alright, we're full healed. We do have military access with them. Yes, we do. We're going to walk through their land and take care of some looters. We're going to follow right behind. Get ourselves killed. Not hoping... <sighs> Are we, are we, it's just not going to make sense to build these. Not at this price. We need one more turn to fire someone else. Financial genius. Not quite. 200 per turn is not really that great. Not that great. This one's good. I think this we can consider... Not that great, but Imperial Father will keep. Not that great. Farmer, not that great. That's the other 15%. Imperial Mother. Office for Medicine. Friend of He. Mm, don't need Friend of He to do anything. If Zhao Zhong wasn't our Imperial Mother, we would be firing him with a 27 point. We could get rid of Zhang Gong. Agricultural development is definitely a worthwhile assignment. 
So I don't think we're going to get that reform for this. And the commanderies that we'll be taking in this campaign aren't going to have that many green buildings. So we could get rid of him. It's definitely, definitely a possibility. 35. Uh, we do have both administrator spots taken, so maybe, yeah, maybe it's just not feasible. Keeping 10 unique, I think it's good enough for our challenge. We're not going to touch that. All right, they both moved. No rebellion yet. Could we dip this down a little? We could. Oh, we could very much dip this down. We can start a new army, to be honest. We can start a new army to wait and die. We can split that force. Uh, but why spend the money? All right, so we know of the rebellion. Warlord, not bad. I don't know if we should march, given that this faction leader is Zhang Yan. Might have a fight on our hand. Now we will probably hold on to this or trade it to someone after we take it. Maybe through a trade. Maybe we'll try to get some territory through a trade or mm, there's no good trade partner for this piece of land. It's either them or them. I don't think I want anything from them. Maybe in Trent's farmland, but that's not that's not how the land's divided. I can't grab that. And with them. That's their capital. We can't grab that. Oh, maybe we can trade for Chen's farmland. I don't know if he'll give me that. Or well, we can rest there and then go down for these looters, perhaps. Die of old age, will you? Rebellion in a few turns. 1,800. So expensive. Really would want to wait till this goes down. These two die. That's how we would fix it, I guess. Yeah. We're out of military supplies. Ooh, talented officers. Please be the right faction. I should say it's a hmm, bureaucrat. We just basically don't put him in the office. He can be administrator. That'd be perfect. One guy is warlord. No dynasty. So that's that's great. He's willing to spy, so he's not a spy. Faction bonus, charge for spear infantry. Not a big bonus. Probably not worth putting him in the court. His bonus is not so shabby, actually. But unfortunately, because of his association, which it's done pretty randomly, we probably can't put him in the courts. I think as an added house rule, we're going to pursue this line the whole game instead of going for more useful reforms. We want our palace to be picked up this early. These are not that useful. Corruption reduction is not going to be super useful. We might get the military one done first. These three. Recruitment costs. Deployables. Yeah, let's do that actually. Um, we're going to snatch these up. Opportunity. Don't come this often. No, no high empire. Won't be a spy. So, roster grows, the economy goes down because salary is still pretty high. Reset skill tree. Ooh. Is your skill tree? No, it's pretty good. 
It's administrator skill tree, which I'm okay with. Bolster the garrison. Instant siege. Mm, could be useful, but I think the campaign movement's probably better. That's pretty expensive, 1,500 for that. This is good. But it would be expensive to pull off, but it's good. Shorter time. Wait, I don't feel like it's shorter time. Was it three turns from before? I guess if we can get this down one more tier somehow, it would be worthwhile. Or if we get move one of these up one more tier. Hold on. Lose some diplomatic standing. Simon slot provided. I could fire someone this turn. I think we want to increase our warlord a little bit more. We can just elevate one of them. Man, he Jin. I mean, certainly this doesn't doesn't hurt. And then if we were gonna fire someone, it's probably the younger one. We would probably just straight up banish him. Is he on the field? That's the other question. Yeah, he doesn't need to get banished, he can just die. No one's home. Oh, if that's the case, we just sent them to die. We don't even have to capture it. We can go back for now. Rebellion hasn't started yet. I mean, this would be the only other option to put up nine more points of Warlord. We would want both of these. Let's get this first. I mean, he will leave us, but I guess we'll use him until he does. That's not too bad. Salary situation, we can, we can accept that. Gotta keep that military supply going. The Emperor has ranked up. I can get one more assignment. I think we'll do that first. We can do income. We can do artificial food increases. Peasantry, industry. I mean, none of it make a lot of sense, to be honest. We can make one of our... Say, our financial genius, who we might not want. We can give him a rank up through doing assignments and then use that undesire or desire for a higher office to fire him down the line. This is about the timeout. Probably have to send him back for that. Wait. Right, no one that starts in our faction can spy or else we can send them out. That would be a pretty easy way of uh, getting rid of characters. Anyways, let's continue. Gentleman could get captured and killed, but if he does, I guess it's fine. I don't need the burn buff. But hopefully he isn't killed. The mandate war begins, finally. Been waiting for the old turban to do this. We bolstered our warlord influence, and we probably have one more trade route. Yep. Huh. 
This is good news. Wow. Really good news. I mean, we should technically all be sharing a common enemy now, which I guess help. Oh, 8.6. What am I doing? Uh, close. Maybe 2.0 is worth something now. Nope. Only our neighbor. I want your land. Can we talk about that? Can't be worth that much. Guess we might have to get it by force later. Alright, let's take a look at who likes us the most. Thank you. The family's all back together. We have a loyal general, family member, family member, our own empire. Cao Cao wants back in. I mean, it makes sense, because as the empire gets bigger and bigger, our projected strength is also bigger and bigger. Uh, that's kind of weird. So more and more factions should fall into line and come back into the empire. Point seven. Ding Yuan. Gonna be Minister of the Guards eventually. Before Liu Bu stabs him in the back. Uh, speaking of Liu Bu, he should be in Demon's faction. Oh, that's so close. But there's a lot of uh, shifts. Runi所愿，祝你好运。我已迫不及待聆听足下。我等皆青睐足下。欢迎朋友，你我已达成共识。很荣幸再相见。别来无恙。欢迎朋友。很荣幸再相见。It would be funny if he's willing to join. What about now? Oh, he joined. What about what about now? We, we're much bigger than before. 1.7. Guess it hasn't really changed there. Embrace the Empire once again. Wow. It's a lot of value. The one thing that's weird is that we don't start with our Imperial Seal. There we go. Uh, he's not going to trade the farm for 7.5. It's going to be 20 plus for sure. I think that's probably it for now. Both dynasty. 
I uh, can't trust that. This we can trust. Labor for being administrator. Uh, not quite good. Yeah. So we'll keep that away. We get our first fight. No one's home. Okay, we'll take this. And they're actually faction destroyed. Um... Bit awkward. They can't give us anything. This is too generous of a gift. And I don't know what we can ask him. I guess we can ask for a farm. We'll hang on to it for now. We'll get rid of it eventually. Hopefully to a vassal, to be honest. Maybe a high empire possibility. We need to start shifting our attention north. We'll take the crossing here soon and help Luger. He's going to get sieged. Actually, we should just go here. Most have positive military supplies. Alright, we can't land, but that's okay. If he takes this, we can take that back. We'll trade the land to him eventually. I think that's what we will do. They can go find this fight. The trick is we need to find a fight that we can win. One last turn for the cheap buildup. We just can't drop this down. It's pretty hard to get the last bit of points down. So these two gotta die. I can fire one. Right, I can fire one. It's three points. Fifty, thirty-seven, thirty-three. I mean, he's gonna die eventually. It's fine. I think it's gonna be a banish then. I am gonna banish the one on the field. I don't need him. He's older. He could die by himself. He can't. Plus one cover cost for enemy spies. We don't need that, so that's fine. We'll keep that open. I feel like I can recall him and then just walk him to his death over there. Take a few friends with you. Yeah, I think they're the only two that needs to die. And that means we don't need units because I don't need to send anyone else onto the field. I believe that's right. He dies and then we're done. We're not killing John Lin. We're not killing Chen Dun. We're not killing Kuro. Right. I think that's it. So let's not pay any of the upkeep. And we'll just send them on their way. Um, still kind of torn about spending money on buildings. Wait, we dropped it. We dropped it. Raw menu again. We. This is probably as low as we can get. Sure, it's 100% construction costs, but I feel like. With the turn, we'll, we'll build these. Um, what else can we plug get another trade? But we have no trade partner because we have no land touching any new faction. 
that's not already trading. Okay, we're good. Let's continue. Wait, he moved his army from here to here? Depends on if Huang Shao can take, don't... Oh, they're moved? They're not? Hmm. Weird fighting patterns here. Want to build back our... Actually, we don't need to. We should just posture for the hit. And then we give the land to Luger. Alright, go find yourself some rebels to die to. We have to wait for the assignment. We have to be patient here. Okay, so Huang Gai can do this assignment now. We probably... Don't need him anymore then. Greedy, ambitious, resourceful, not the greatest combination. So we basically shift Huang Gai in in the future. Not right now, we don't need it right now. We don't need to lose population because there's no replenishment going on. If we do fire him. I mean, I guess we won't fire him just because he has dynasty bonuses. There's no point to fire him. Okay, so we're good here. We're about to attack. He's faction-wide, so we're probably going up here. This is our triple burn officer. They're most likely gonna just stay here and delegate against any rebels we spawn. Oh, we could have done the stone monkey trick to pay a little less on buildings. I forgot about that. She says, like, that's my set stuff. I don't know if he's going to leave us or not, so I'm not going to give him anything, actually. Next time, when we upgrade these two, we can swap the stone monkey with the administrator. All right, Administrator rank up. Probably just going to get resolve points before we get expertise. We got our first turncoat. But we've seen her in our recruitment pool before, so we know she's not good. No need to grab her. I think we can start conquering next turn. Uh, young. We're not building it up because we're trying to lose it. Yeah, too expensive. All right, we're good. Oh, he took it himself. Good for him. He's retreating. Oh, he took that. We can go stop that. We have a Leon Rebellion as well. And historically, it happened after the Ill Turban Rebellion was put down. Ill Turban Rebellion lasted like three months, uh, three seasons. Not three months, a little bit more credit for them. Um, kind of want to fight with them, but I don't think they're going to be that aggressive. So we might just come over here and fight this group first. 
They can suicide. It's actually hard to die. They're not gonna kill us. We're gonna delegate and then be like one health on the side. And then we can't make another fight. But if they come for us, we can definitely delegate away and die. I need to be joined at the hips with them. I think... We want to just provide the bonus and the generals. Because just having one general is not good. Plus one extra army for us. One extra trade route would be useless because we don't have any trade available. No partners. Mm, is he useful? No. So I guess if he does overwork himself to the point where he has desire for higher office, we will say goodbye to him. All right, we'll be doing buildings next turn. Things look good. Let's continue. He should have two stacks here. Small stacks, but still two stacks. So this fight needs to be sort of clean. Beigong Bo Yu, the Leon Rebels. Take Chang'an so I can take it from them, or else they're my friend. I can't take them. Oh, come kill us. There we go. Kill both, please. Kill both. Our court is cleansed. I mean, if Huang Shao is aggressive, he could go for our capital. And tell us you had die of natural causes. That's fine. Our court has been cleansed quite a bit. To the point where I actually kind of want to recruit a few guys just to fill them in. Um, boss, yeah, I, I guess we can take anyone who is not a spy and also... I mean, they're not going to be remotely useful for the faction positions, but I don't want to build up our bureaucrat again. At least not right now. Okay, we're just going to grab all three then. Labor, not useful. Not useful. Yes, yeah, that's the reason why we didn't grab them earlier. At least this one might actually be useful. And we'll get more Warlord points, which is good. We'll keep one open so we can shuffle people around. We didn't have enough to change the value though. All right, can we get this fight in? Before we fight, we might be able to use our burnt buff if I can sell them over. We just have to land in the commandery, literally right here. That's all we need to do. Perfect. Now that's three burnt debuff and buffs. We will have 45% extra ammo. They will have minus 90% ammo. So yeah, tough luck for them. They don't have that many archer unit. Maybe a few in the garrison. Yeah, five ammo. Good luck. Eight. 13, because he has some cunning. But we also will get 37. 59. It's gonna be fun.
Now, ideally, we want to take no casualty, which is impossible. Because I don't think we can keep replenishment high in this area without assignments. So that's something we have to keep our eye out for. Uh, there's a couple cavalry units, but I think we can just easily do this. It's wide enough front. I think we'll send the cavalry up first. The melee ones. We'll treat these as range units. They're double unit size, so they're pretty good range unit because of that. Don't need that. Potential duels, let's take that. Generals can cause some damage. I mean, defensively speaking, these are tough. We have, from the front, 97% evasion, 63% armor. We have to do the challenge ourselves, that way we get more experience. We go over 100 melee experience in diamond. We do. From the front, with the shield. We also have crossbows. We have 250 range. Those poor archers. Can't use it. I think we missed. I don't think- oh yeah, it hit him, it hit him. Okay, okay, the damage went through. I was like, I feel like he didn't get chunked. Oh, poor cavalry. Do we see this guy? Uh, we kind of over-aim where he was going to go, but the second volley is going to get him. He slowed down. He's so dead. Tyrant Slayers. Goodbye. What a fancy unit. And the closer they get, Oh, friendly fire danger. Friendly fire danger. Hold on. Uh, stop. Because they will be friendly fire. And that's what we don't want. I'm going to actually have to hotkey these together. Come back. Yeah, right before they get too close, we have to turn it off, let them collide with our line, and then turn on fire at will again. Actually, we'll just go this side. Then we'll pick up the right target. Seems like no one's on this flank. You guys pull forward. Can't find targets? Nope, they're finding targets. Hey, Ashi, go. Yeah, I think the formation is ready done. Oh, they looped all the way around. What's the point, though? We didn't go after the cavalry. The cavalry's gonna go after you. Rear flank. It's not gonna be a lot of target for them to fire at now. I guess just routed units. Hopefully that's who they pick up. Ignore the general. 
天甲不留。准备好了，进攻。This one's not too easy to kill. We should, we should be okay. Ah,、uh, don't overchase. Just, just flank, flank and kill, flank and kill. Same thing here. Actually, can we just switch targets faster that way? Uh, no, don't don't shoot. Go back, you guys. Relax. Oh, can we kill him? Ah,、uh, there's no.、Mm. It's gonna route, but I can murder him with this once he routes away from my units. There we go. Kill him. Porcupine. He's not gonna run away. Goodbye. It's a defensive garrison battle. They're all wiped, anyways. Just wanted to shoot him a couple times. Didn't take too much. This is the most damage unit, I think. But even with that being the case, we're not replenishing that much. One percent, yeah. So clearly, he's gonna need a little help. Good dueling. What can we do? Charge negation, slightly helpful. I think we probably want capture rate, increased rate of wall damage during siege, and then get night battle first. We can. I, I, do we need more morale? I mean, we could use some, but I mean, it's not not important. I don't. Believe there are any replenishment title bonuses. We could definitely use the unit upkeep one. Yeah, let's see how aggressive Huang Shao is. He could totally attack with all gate pass if he wants, but he he's not going to. At least that's what I think. I could be wrong.、Mm. Let me give this to someone. Like we don't need it anymore. I don't want that. Free gift. Oh, they have items.、Uh, money. Don't really want their items. Quality is quite poor. Three point three. Is probably high enough to get some. Pocket change. Your plan is good. Really, I'm proud of you. Ready? Go. Okay, I can probably get two sets of payments here. I'm happy to meet you again. We'll let yellow turbans be the bad guys and take land, and we'll just recover them.、Uh, just because we're not going to keep most of the land we take doesn't mean we don't take it. We still need land to get our army to replenish, especially that imperial one, to get the Simons ready to switch over. One guy's, ah,、uh, we got it. One guy's on call. Once we take that main settlement. Nope. Nope. 能见足下
That minus adjustment. There we go. We can use the annex function for Bianzhang, I guess, if we can get our dynasty up high enough. That way we can get Hedong without fighting him. I mean, things going right. We have the court fix. We have the yellow turbans beat. We have the empire back together. Yeah, it's getting easier and easier just because the entire empire is giving us diplomatic weight here and distance. Some of these ambitious factions, though. Saying no to us. Don't just play still no. Yep. Would be quite weird if he said yes. Alright, so if we... I think there's actually probably some changes to these valuations too. 1.5. Yeah, we, got, we got another 5.0. 75. Let's see how much of the Empire is back. Mm, not as impressive as before. Especially with so many rebellions, but we got most of the ones around us back. Let's continue here. Oh, Liu Bei lost Pingyuan. We'll have to take that for him, but first we take Ye. Liu Bei might get wiped and then we can pick up his characters, which would be great. Oh, we have a daughter. The traitor. It's a little early for him. 185? Like, Renshu was just a kid. Uh, not a kid kid, but he's young. I mean, taking Ye is like giving it to Yuan Shao, which I'm, I'm fine with. I really do hope nobody's faction get wiped, but we're going to leave things at this point and we'll come back and take care of the rest of the rebellion. I don't think they're going to be that difficult. This army is just way too strong. Afterward, we're going to continue to build up our capital. Our goal is to build a palace to gain back the land of uh, Chang'an, uh, Chang wipe out the land rebels and uh, take Hedong as well. I think that's going to require us to reach tier 3 of dynasty influence, and then we'll use the points we've been building up to annex factions, basically, from our subjects. And we'll also have Dong Zhuo's event. I think we'll have an event where we die, just to make things a little bit more interesting. And just because we end the Mandate War doesn't mean it's over, because we still have these Yellow Term factions that are doing quite well in this area. Um, I'm happy to see these factions get wiped, that way we can kind of uh, do our damage there in the future. But focus on the Drum Brothers first, and we'll pick things back up from here next time. Until then, bye!